Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm going to teach you how to stop shanking the golf ball. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up. Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, and then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So shanking is probably one of the worst swing faults in golf. Everybody gets all worried about this and, you know, oh, we don't even want to say the word shank, you know, because it produces really bad shots. But, you know, these are so easy to fix. All you got to do is just see it a little bit differently. I have literally fixed, you know, tons and tons of people in like five minutes. Okay, <laughs> you just got to understand it and then apply that the fix to your swing. And then all of a sudden you're gonna stop shanking. Okay, so even if you don't shank, you better remember this because at times you may. And if you follow this tip, you probably never will shank. Okay, because there's one important thing that you gotta know that causes a shank. All right, so what is a shank? Well, that is when your ball hits the hosel, this is called the hosel right here, which is a round surface, the ball hits the round surface. So when it does, that causes a shot. I'm gonna talk in right-handed for a second. So if I hit this round surface with a round golf ball, the ball's gonna kind of squirt over here. You know, it might only get off the ground a very tiny bit and then, you know, go over here because round ball, round surface, all right? How you know you're hitting a shank is that a shank actually feels half decent. Feels like you've hit a good shot. You look up and the thing's over here. It's like, where did that come from? Oh, that's a shank. Another way you can check if you're shanking it, just take a look at your club right here. The hosel on your club. Well, if you hit a plastic ball on the hosel, you're going to start seeing marks on your club. That's another way you can tell. Because, you know, if you're a beginner, that sort of thing, and you don't realize why the ball keeps going over there, you might think the face is open when really you're shanking it. All right? So just take a look at the hosel. You know, like I said, feels like an okay shot. It's, that's why it's very surprising when you hit one of these shots, you know? It's like, whoa, I thought I felt like a good one and it's over there. Okay, so that's the first thing, shank. What is it? That's what's happening, it's hitting the hosel. Okay, so now <laughs> think about what clubs you would shank. Okay, do you shank a driver? Yeah, probably not, right? Because there's no hosel on it, <laughs> really, other than up here and hopefully you're not hitting it up there. So you don't usually shank a driver, of course. Do you shank a four iron? Yeah, usually not. So what is the difference between a four iron and a club you probably would shank, which is a pitching wedge? Well, isn't the pitching wedge a lot shorter than a four iron? Yeah, it is. What clubs, if you have ever shanked a golf ball in your life, what clubs do you shank? You shank the shorter ones, don't you? Yeah, usually. All right, so what is it about a shorter club that would make you shank this club? Well, when it's shorter, what are you going to do when you set up to the ball? Well, the shorter it is, the more you're going to bend over. Okay, as soon as you bend over, your body mass is overhanging your toe line. So now, if I start, let's say I start with the weight in the middle of my feet. I go to the top and the weight goes to my toes, I'm now getting closer to the ball. So when the club comes down, it's gonna hit the hosel. So from right here, if I, let's say I'm even in the middle of my feet here, okay? Now watch what happens. If I'm here, let's say I'm kind of bent over a little bit too much and I roll to my toes. See, I'm not moving my arms. If I roll to my toes, club starts going away like this. So, you know, just even, what is that? One, about an inch and a half, you're gonna hit the hosel. So 
it's because your body mass is getting ahead of your toe line. That is one of the main causes of shanking the ball. That gets the weight on your toes. There's probably a little hitting in there with your arms. And it's because you're using shorter golf clubs. All right, like I said, I have fixed tons and tons and tons of people that have shanked the ball in literally five minutes. Okay, people that have gone to, you know, years not being able to fix this. Okay, so you just gotta see it a little differently. So what I want you to do, first off, is feel taller when you set up to shorter clubs, especially people that are taller. All right, if you're tall, what are you gonna wanna do when you set up to a golf club that's short, like a pitching wedge? Well, let's say you're 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". Why would you set up like this? You're not gonna go like this. You got a short club, you're gonna go like this. As Soon as you do that, I guarantee your body mass is ahead of your toe line, okay? And you now run the risk of shanking the golf ball. All right, so the thought process is this. Stand taller with shorter clubs, okay? Stand taller with shorter clubs. So I want you to pay particular attention to when you get the shorter clubs in your hand. Let's say probably like an eight iron down, okay? What, whatever clubs you would typically shank, okay? Now, if you are shanking longer clubs, then feel a little taller with everything then, okay? Because you're probably leaning over too much. All right, so that's step one. So let me just tee up a ball so we can hit one in a second. Okay, so you're gonna come up to the ball like this. Now, instead of going like that, okay, we're gonna feel like, just as a mental image, we're gonna feel like we're inside a cylinder. Okay, cylinder here. We're gonna go down inside the cylinder. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want you like this, okay? We gotta get to the golf ball, but it's a sensation. It's a sensation of going down, rear ends out. We're going down, not forward, okay? See how it changes? Okay, how do you check it? Well, you can just take your club like this. You want your chest pointing out in front of the ball, not down at the ball, okay? We don't wanna be down here. All right, so that's step one. We wanna feel like we're going down to get the ball, or get to the ball, not forward. All right, so now, if you're someone that has a big angle here, you're gonna have to lift the club up a little bit, like this, okay? To make the club longer, to accommodate a taller setup. All right, so that's step one. We want to stand tall, or taller setup with shorter clubs. Next, you wanna feel like the weight is in the middle of your feet, not on your toes. So don't think balls of your feet, okay? Think laces. The laces are in the middle of your shoes here, okay? If you think balls of your feet, that could get you leaning forward. I want you solid here, okay? Middle of your feet. All right, so now, how are we gonna do the swing? Well, just imagine if you've gone like this and you're all bent over, what are you gonna do when you take the club back? You're gonna go like this, down and down. Okay, this is gonna get you way too vertical. Vertical, get a little on your toes, and now you run the risk of shanking it. So when you're taller, I want you to think you're going around and around. Around, see my arms are flatter here. I'm not way up here. Okay, I'm going around and around. Okay, a final thing you can do is feel the weight go to your back heel, hit the shot, forward heel. Okay, so we're trying to keep the weight off of our toes. So that'd be a good little drill. You could literally hit shots like this thinking back heel, forward heel, you know, just to get the club going around and around, not up and down, or up, down, up. We're going around and around. All right, so 
You do those things, no joke, you'll fix, this, fix shanking the ball in literally five minutes. This is so unbelievably simple. There is no reason to get worried about this shot. Like I said in the very beginning, if you just remember from this point forward to stand tall with shorter clubs, you will probably never shank a ball ever in your life. All right? So just think, you shank shorter clubs. So if it's shorter a uh, cl shorter club, you're going to want to bend over. So don't bend over. All right? So taller, stand taller with shorter clubs. Feel the weight on your laces. Okay? Think we're going around and around, not up, down, up. Okay? Around and around. Then as a little drill, just hit a few shots. Tee up your ball. Okay? Tee it up. We're going to go back heel, forward heel, back heel, forward heel. And I would probably tee those up for a little bit. You know, hit a few shots, just get a little bit of confidence. Because when people, you know, have shanked the golf ball, they lose all confidence and they get very worried about this. Okay, like I said, you do it my way, within a few minutes you'll be hitting some pretty good shots, you know, more in, towards the center of the face. You won't shank it, but why I'm saying pretty good is because you're not quite confident yet. Okay, you're going to have to hit a bunch of balls to get the thought of you shanking the ball out of your mind set. Okay, once you do that, then you can start going at full speed and within no time you've stopped shanking the ball. Okay, so try to follow that and like I said, even if you don't shank it, try to remember the taller setup into the future. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.